happy Halloween or almost Halloween. We're three weeks away now. It's October 10th. I hope you like this. We got this from Target. I think it was $5. They have some larger ones that are, I think double that. I think they're 10, but I thought this was pretty cute, pretty festive. I've got my cat earrings on. Should have worn my Halloween shirt. Ah, well. Anyway, uh, a lot of you asked for video suggestions, both on Patreon and on YouTube. In both places, people asked for Halloween stuff, Halloween candy, and what we're doing as, you know, a vegan family. So obviously this year is a little bit different with the pandemic, but for the most part, things are going to be the same. Just know, at least for us, we're not going, you know, door to door and getting candy that way, but we're still going to be dressing up and we're still going to be eating lots of candy. So I wanted to talk about the kind of candy that we're getting and also what plans we have in terms of different things that we're going to do since we can't go door to door, which is kind of the, the most fun part, I guess. So to start, candy. Oh, I did it. Oh shit. It looks like a lot. I mean, it is a lot. I don't know. I was going to say it's not, but yes, it is. So to start, this is the stuff that I got just for any potential trick-or-treaters. And we're just going to put a bowl out for people to just, you know, come up and grab stuff. That's what we usually do anyway for most of the night because, uh, well, I say usually, but we've only really gone trick-or-treating one time <laughs> last year for toddler. Tiny baby was still too tiny. Yeah. So last year, you know, for most of the night we were out trick-or-treating. So we had a bowl out anyway. But yeah, so what I got, a fairly small bag of blow pops. Oh, I love blow pops. Dang it. I want a blow pop. I like how all of the things say like peanut free, gluten free. That's cool. And then I got two bags of this, which is Sour Patch Twizzlers, Twizzlers Pull and Peel. I don't know what that means. Well, I guess it, you can peel it off. Yeah, I know what that means. And uh, Jolly Rancher Lollipops. Like I said, I got two bags of those, 55 pieces. <laughs> that's so much candy. And that's it. I didn't get a whole lot. I would say last year we got more than that. And we had some left over too. Like, I think we still have old Halloween candy. That's just like gross, I'm sure, because of the humidity, you know? Any of the hard candies, they just get real real gross after a while and all, you know, kind of gummy, the Dump Pops, Jolly Rancher, stuff like that. Again, that's for trick-or-treaters. Um, you'll notice there's no chocolate. Probably not surprising to many of you. Yeah, it's really hard to find. It's not hard to find vegan chocolate, but it's really hard to find small pieces of vegan chocolate, right? Just in the store. If you go to the Halloween section in your normal grocery store, you're not going to find little chocolates, certainly not little milk chocolates or anything like that, that don't have milk in them. The only vegan chocolate you're going to find is like baking chocolate and the dark chocolate bars that are like this big and $2 each. And I don't know about you, but I'm not handed out giant $2 <laughs> chocolate bars. And if you look at all the vegan Halloween candy lists, there's, there's like no chocolate on them, right? It's Sour Patch Kids, it's Swedish Fish, Skittles, all the fruity kind of stuff, right? I'm sure that'll change in the next year or so. We're seeing so many new plant-based products. Just like, I, I feel like every time I go to the store, every single week when I go to the store, I see something else that's like, oh, they have a plant-based version now. I just saw that, um, that True Whip, I guess, because it's, made with milk and it's not just hydrogenated oil or whatever. I guess that's why it's called True Whip. I really have no idea, but um, they have a vegan version of that. So that's pretty cool. I still get the Cocoa Whip, but it's cool that there's more, you know, options now. We have Cocoa Whip, True Whip, and the Ready Whip. That's pretty cool. So yeah, every time I go to the store, I see a new plant-based thing. And I, I've been hearing things about more milk chocolates coming out. Trader Joe's just put out a, a little almond milk bar. It's a big almond milk uh, bar. So that's cool. So I wouldn't be surprised if next season there are some little Halloween candies that are actually vegan from Hershey's or Dove or whatever. But for now, it's just not an option unless you want to spend a lot of money. <laughs> Which brings me to what we're getting for our kids. I think one of the questions people have is what do you do when you're vegan and you take your kids trick-or-treating? Do you just let them get the candy? Do you let them just eat whatever milk, you know, based candy they get, like, what do you do? What we do is there's actually a term for it, I guess it's called like switch, switch, and you can go onto um, Amazon or wherever and buy the little book. And there's a little witch character and it was made for kids with allergies, peanut allergies, dairy allergies, that kind of stuff. So it makes it fun when you have to 
switch out the candy they get, right? So that's what we do without the witch or anything like that. That's what we did last year. Just when we got home, we had candies that we had bought and just switched out any of the Snickers and the Hershey's and basically like all of the chocolate, pretty much everything else was okay. Um, I think there were some Starbursts in there. Those have gelatin. So we switched those out and toddler like did not care. We were just like, oh, here, this is better. This is better. This is better. And they were like, yeah, whatever. Making sure that we did have some chocolate for them. Enjoy life. Everybody knows enjoy life. They've had the vegan chocolate chips now forever. Now Target has some, I think Simple Truth uh, Kroger even has some vegan ones, but enjoy life has had their vegan chocolate chips forever. If you're vegan, I'm sure you've used them at some point. Um, they also have some little mini chocolate bars. You can see they're even Halloween. Well, the package is Halloween theme, themed. I think the little bar still just says yeah, it just says enjoy life on it. But they have these dark chocolate minis, these rice milk chocolate minis. And then they have another one, I think that has little crispies in it. It sounds really good, but that one is not vegan. I think that one has honey in it. So these are terrific. We've seen the Easter version of these in store before actually, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen these though for last Halloween or this Halloween or the one before that, I haven't seen anything like this um, in store, but we did buy these online from their website. They are not cheap. I think they were $4.99 each. I'm trying to think the huge, like 330 piece bags of candy at Kroger were on sale for like $10. 18 pieces of chocolate for $5. So really no comparison in terms of price. But yeah, we get this kind of stuff to make sure that we have chocolate to switch out for toddler. I don't even think we had these last Halloween. I think we just had these for Easter. And then we also had the No Way chocolate, which we did order some more of that. Um, I'm probably gonna do a part two of these video because of this because I have a bunch of other stuff coming as well. We kind of just went all out because you know, things are not going to be super normal this year. So we got a bunch of new stuff. We got the, like I said, the no way stuff, which we've had before, which I don't think is particularly good. I don't think the chocolate is good and it's made from sunflower butter. It's free from all the major allergens, right? Which is great, but I don't really like the taste of sunflower butter. So I don't think those are very good in my opinion, but toddler really likes them. And I think that's what made the switching the candies much more acceptable to them because when we're switching some sort of chocolatey thing, well, we're switching it with another chocolatey thing, right? We're not just giving them more Sour Patch. It's like they have more options, right? Yeah, so I ordered more of that. And then I also ordered just a bunch of stuff we haven't tried before from Vegan Essentials. So I'm really excited for that to come. Like I said, I'll probably do a part two. So yeah, these are not going to the trigger treaters because they're way too expensive. These are just for a toddler and me, let's be real, me. And then something we have not tried before that I'm really excited about. This is a brand called Squish. I believe it is a Canadian brand and they've got a bunch of different gummies, like more gourmet gummies with all sorts of flavors, all sorts of style, you know, some are sour and they've got some vegan ones. And I was really happy because like a lot of little things that you find aren't individually wrapped, which again is, is kind of an issue for like Halloween, right? I want like little packages. I guess you could wrap it yourself, but like, no, no, I'm not doing that. So they actually had these packages of all vegan stuff. You can see the little vegan symbol up there of individually wrapped packages. So this one has six different kinds of gummies and this one also has six different kinds of gummies. It's not all the different stuff in one pack. It's just like one kind. So this is the vegan sake blossom gummies. I want to try, I'm not going to try all these because I don't want to open a bunch of different packages. It'd just be ridiculous, but I want to try one. I'm going to try the Sour Rainbow Bears from the, uh, from the Unicorn Magic mix. I'm guessing that's what this is. Well, it's not, not too hard to open. Ooh, I think that's like a pineapple. Hmm. Ooh, red's good. Delicious. Even the blue is good. I usually don't like blue flavored anything blue flavor, <laughs> blue raspberry, whatever the hell that is supposed to be. But even the blue is good. They're not sour. I will say that they, they've got maybe a tiny hint of sour, but they are not very sour at all, but they are very, very yummy. Again, not cheap at all. I can't remember what I paid. Definitely far more expensive than just getting some little packages of Sour Patch at Kroger or whatever. Dang it. I want to try some more. I want to try the chocolate. I've had the Enjoy Life chocolate before, so I don't need to try that. 
I know what it tastes like. I thought I had more candy than that already. <laughs> Realizing like maybe I should have just waited to record. But um, another thing, if you're ordering stuff online, you, you gotta be quick. There's already a lot of Halloween candies from Vegan Essentials, Enjoy Life, No Way, all these places that are sold out. So you kind of kind of gotta be quick with it. Um, and I'm sure they're experiencing delays as well with the pandemic and probably more people ordering online than usual. So uh, yes, yeah, so I wanted to get this out fairly quickly while there's still time to, to order some stuff. We probably won't be doing any sort of candy switching this year unless there's something going on in the in the neighborhood that's you know more pandemic safe i know lowe's nationwide they're doing a little drive-through trick-or-treating thing where you, they give you you just re reserve a spot it's free and you know you can dress up your kids or whatever in the car and then they'll hand you some some candy and then you drive off i guess that's the whole thing that's nice you know it's it's something something to do right but yeah we're probably not gonna have to do any sort of candy switching this year i'm thinking what we might do at least during the day if it is not rainy which is a big if we might do a sort of easter egg hunt but a, a halloween sort of hunt and so um i want to try and find something that we can put the candy in that's like a an easter egg but like kind of halloween themed you know, and put the candy in that and hide it around the yard and stuff for the for the kids to find. I think that would be fun. And then at night, you know, we always watch Halloween movies. We always watch like a Nightmare Before Christmas, although we've already watched that. We watched it a few days ago. Toddler watched it twice in a row. <laughs> so maybe we'll watch something else. I don't know. But yeah, other than that, I'm not I'm not sure. I know a lot of people have talked about like scavenger hunts. We're lucky enough that I mean, Tiny Baby doesn't know what's going on. They're just gonna be so excited to to dress up, you know, and like something's something's happening. This is great. And then toddler, like I said, they've only trick or treated once. So, you know, they understand that we're not going trick or treating, but I think just having Halloween and getting dressed up and eating candy, I think they're gonna be pretty excited. And we've been decorating. I mean, you've seen the last couple of videos that I filmed in Donner's room. Like that's not even half of the Halloween stuff in their room. It's insane. We got one of those spinning like projector light thingies and it projects, you know, like spooky trees and pumpkins and skeletons and stuff on the wall. They love it. Like that's just in their room. It's just for their room. You know, they've got a bunch of different pumpkin lights and pumpkin garlands and just, just little pumpkin figures everywhere. It's it's insane. We got some of the window uh, clinging sticker thingies for the windows. We got some of those. Toddler really loves Halloween. I guess that's it. Uh, you can certainly find Halloween candy in the store for, you know, cheap, just regular cheap Halloween candy. So that's great. And then if you want more specialty stuff that is available too, obviously going to be a lot more expensive, but it is available. Oh, Cocoa Mel's are another good option. Those I have seen in store. That's where I had them is just from Kroger, from Fred Meyer. At our store, they have them with the like natural stuff, with the kind of natural, healthier candies. Again, more expensive than Sour Patch, Hershey's, all that kind of stuff. Yum Earth, I think they also have some... I don't think all their stuff is vegan, but they have some vegan like lollipops and some other stuff, maybe some gummies that are made with pectin instead of gelatin. I would recommend the Trader Joe's Halloween gummies that I've talked about before that we got last year that are delicious. They're like my favorite gummies, but they have not had them. A uh, partner went to Trader Joe's just yesterday and they didn't have them. So super bummed about that. But if they end up getting those this year, definitely get them. They are so good. And they come, you know, in a little fruit snack pack, individually wrapped and just fruit snacks in general, I guess you can find from the store. There are a few brands that don't have gelatin. I love fruit snacks. I would be totally fine with a house just handing out packs of fruit snacks. That would be tremendous. I'll also say we heard when we were trick-or-treating last year, like two or three times, number one at our house, when we did finally come back and we got a few stragglers, I guess, coming up to get candy, older kids. And they were like, oh yeah, Sour Patch Kids. And even when we were walking, I heard it one time, these older kids went up to the house and they were like, yeah, Sour Patch Kids. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I guess we're not the only ones that, that really love Sour Patch. I, I guess I always think that kids just want chocolate and they're going to be disappointed if they just get like fruity gummy stuff. But then I'm like, well, like Skittles were my favorite things growing up. I loved Skittles, so I don't know why I think kids only want chocolate. I don't know. And bubble gum. Oh my God. Throw some of the, what's the delicious, they're vegan. Is it double, double bubble or hubba, no, not hubba bubba. I think it's double bubble. 
right? The pink and it's like covered in the powdery, powdery stuff. Throw some of those in there. Oh man. I'll say last thing in terms of vegan baking because people asked about that as well. Halloween, fall baking. Um, yeah, usually we do some, you know, pumpkin cookies or whatever. Not like a whole lot of stuff because we're already going to be eating a lot of candy Halloween and for the several days after Halloween. So, but usually I make some cookies. Um, I want to do, found this recipe for like chocolate pumpkin caramel thingies. I think she uses like a skull mold. I have a silicone pumpkin mold that I'm going to use. And they're just little chocolates filled with a, a pumpkin caramel that she actually makes. I don't know if it's a she, I'm assuming she could be a he, but they actually make it in a crock pot, which is such a good idea. So I'm very excited to try that. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll just do a video making it. Maybe that would be cool. So let me know. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is what you guys wanted. Subscribe, support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. And let me know, those of you who have young kids, like what are you doing for this Halloween? Do you have any plans? Are you doing anything different? Any cool ideas? Because I'm not, I'm not super creative, creative, honestly. So yeah, if you've got some ideas, let me know. I saved a couple. I saved a couple for partner to try, but like, he doesn't care about candy, you know? He doesn't... He doesn't like candy, right? He doesn't like candy. He won't mind. Oh, damn it. I'll save them. I'll save them. I just love candy. <laughs>